getting warm out here. And what is better on a warm day than ice cream? Okay. So, but you're saying to yourself, how can I make ice cream? I don't have one of those fancy ice cream churns in my kitchen, basement, attic. We, we have a solution for you. We are going to show you how to make ice cream in a <laughs> Ziploc bag. And it should take only about 10 minutes. Wow. Or maybe 15. <laughs> Here's, Here's our ingredients. Just in case. Here's the <laughs> ingredients you're going to need. Some kind of milky stuff. We have half and half. But you can use soy milk, almond milk, oat milk, milk milk. <laughs> I think you rice can, milk. Rice milk. You could even use yogurt to make frozen yogurt. Ooh. Yeah, good idea, right? Um, the other things you're going to need is some sweetener. Um, we have sugar here, but as an experiment, I'm going to try making some with uh, maple syrup mm. as. Uh, a sweetener and then at the very end I can add my walnuts to make maple walnut ice cream uh, but vanilla classic that smells great you know in olden days they use vanilla like perfume would you like some perfume sure all right you're gonna smell like sugar cookies all day long great <laughs> it's really very simple the milk the vanilla the sweetener sugar um, pinch of salt we're also going to use salt to make the ice colder now that's where science gets involved so when you add salt and water together the temperature at which it freezes is going to be colder than just regular water Water turns to ice at 32 degrees Fahrenheit. 32 degrees Fahrenheit or, or zero degrees Celsius. That's right. But if you make a solution of salt and uh, and water or salt and water, it's going to be colder than that before it freezes. And the reason we need it to be colder is because we're not making ice ice ice. We're making ice cream. Oh. And because we add, because we're adding things to the milk, it's going to need to be colder to freeze. Got it? Okay. Okay, so we take a look at our recipe. And we need our zipper bags. Now I suggest you don't use Brand X zipper bags. And I suggest you don't use the slider top bags. Because you want a really good seal. Because in a big bag, in the big bag is going to be the ice and the salt and it's a lot of salt mm. so if that's icy salt water gets into your ice cream it's not going to taste very good oh, okay so good freezer bag. yes and i'm using the freezer bags rather than the storage bags because they're a little thicker and a little more reliable and we're going to double our bag so in case one leaks then we still have that extra bag for protection so to avoid making our ice, ice cream, cream too salty. salty yes so we're going to open one of our bags and just to make it easier we're just going to pop it in something to stand it up okay so we have an empty yogurt container yeah here. you can use any kind of container that's yep. for you great and one for me because I'm making maple ice cream wow. and you are making so uh, the first thing we need is one cup of half and half okay so this is a cup measure you're gonna need to put that all the way to the top all right so I'm measuring out my one cup of half and half or milk Ooh, that looks nice and rich I like half and half in my coffee it makes my coffee taste really smooth Right. All right, now the next item, one and one half teaspoon, that's this one, okay? One and one half teaspoon vanilla, one teaspoon, half teaspoon. I'm going to ask you to put half a teaspoon of vanilla into my maple flavor. Okay, so. 
half a teaspoon of vanilla will enhance the maple flavor of my ice cream. One tablespoon, can you find that one? It's a big one. Sugar. Okay. Now, you'll find fancier recipes for ice cream in your cookbooks, on the internet, um, that might have you make a, make, a, make a mixture of your cream on the stove and to melt the sugar. And maybe add some egg yolks uh, or yeah, something like that. Yeah, to make it nice and rich. But we're going uh, easy peasy, lemon squeezy ice cream here. All right, so okay. how much maple syrup are you I'm adding? I'm going to use a tablespoon. Uh, and maybe just a little glug more so I get that good maple leaf flavor. All right, pinch salt. You know, salt, when we add salt, it makes the sweeter things taste sweeter. And you know what a pinch is, right? Pinchy fingers. Let's see your pinchy fingers. Okay, just a pinch. And then we throw a pinch over our shoulder. Oh, that's a big pinch. <laughs> Put the rest over your shoulder for good luck. That's it. We take our looks, ice cream. Looks like your maple syrup is kind of at the bottom. Right that's now. all right. We're gonna answer, we're gonna mush it all around. In case at your family you're using different flavors, I brought this sharpie out to label it. I'm gonna write my mum 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 me pa 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 pa. All right, and I'm gonna write my. The, the vanilla. Okay, this is the important part. Make sure it's really, really closed tight. So there's my maple. Now, the last thing on our list is one quarter cup salt for the ice. Okay, so you're going to say, where does the ice go? Well, the ice is going to go in our gallon size zipper bag. Okay. But before we do that, we're going to put our mixture inside another quart size bag. Oh, remember how I mentioned it was yucky if your salt gets into salt water gets into your ice cream. Mm -hmm. So we are going to put double bag. I'm going to squeeze a little bit of that air out too, so that there. So it's not like a balloon, okay? So here's my double bag. You got yours? Just have to get a nice seal. All Looks right. Good. All right. So, are we sure? You check mine and I'll check yours. All right. Okay. That looks good. Okay. So we're going to open our gallon size bag. And that's where the ice is going to go. The salt. And we're going to need this ice. If your ice was this hard and you needed someone to break it off, you'd want your parents' help, right? Oh, you know? uh, yeah. You could be careful. I'm sure they'd let you have a couple of whacks at the hammer. <laughs> okay. So we're going to open this up. And we're going to push a whole bunch of ice. Ooh, that's cold into our bag. Our milk mixture, we're trying to turn that cream into ice. So our salt is going to help, but we don't want big ice crystals in our ice cream. We want little crystals in our ice cream. Otherwise it's crunchy. Mm. Who likes crunchy ice cream? Not me. Not me. So while our ice cream our mixture is in our bag we're going to mush it around and that's going to keep our ice crystals tiny tiny like we like an ice cream so i have a one quarter cup measure of salt i filled it all the way Ooh. Hmm, salty. can i taste the salt i don't feel the need <laughs> okay <laughs> all right mm, i like salt so i'm going to sprinkle that over my big pile of ice that's in my bag. And that is going to start to melt the ice. But you know what we should also have? What? It's a little bit of water. 
so we can make that nice and cushy around. And here's water to make a salty slurry mixture. At this point, it should look like this. Your ice cream mixture, double bag, in the big bag with lots of ice and salt. Now, there's another very important piece of equipment you need. <laughs> hey, alligator! <laughs> Do you have two? No, I only have one. <laughs> Alligator's taking a break from circle time. Um, and these mittens will keep your hands from getting too cold. Now at this point, it should take about 10 minutes of jiggling and squiggling and shaking and smooshing. Not too hard because you don't want to open those seals on the bag and get the salty water inside your ice cream. So we're going to swish and swish and swish and mush and mush and mush, but gently, gently. All right? All right. way to make ice cream. <laughs> oh yeah, you're so great. It's finally time to check and see if our ice cream's ready to eat. Ooh, I think we have ice cream. Mm. Yes! Ah! <laughs> oh no, Mom! <laughs> Get a towel. <laughs> I, I have. <laughs> Woo hoo! That is really cold. <laughs> okay, so be careful. Be careful you with your ice bag. to not to spill that icy, icy cold. Unless it's a really hot day, then it might feel really good. I'm gonna seal that up. Salt water is not good for your garden, so if you're getting rid of your your icy salt water, don't throw it on the grass or in your garden. Put it down the drain. All right, good to know. All right, let's see. Make sure I've got my maple flavor. Yes! We have our maple ice cream. And our Van -na 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 <laughs> vanilla <laughs> ice cream. I put, I put our little ice cream oh, scoop cute. Set. Yes. All right. So you can eat it right out of the bag. Or you can dish some. If you like soft serve, this is the way to do it. If you want it to be a harder ice cream, like what you get at the store, then you will just take this bag and put it in your freezer and inside in it for about half an hour. And then it'll be more like a traditional uh, scoop ice cream that you get. What you doing there? Getting it all out? Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna take a taste. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna, can I have a taste of yours too? Absolutely. All right, let me give you a little bit of my maple ice cream. Oh, oh I gotta okay. go. I gave you a whole dish, and you're just giving me a little spoon. And now you can have as much as you like, but you better eat fast. Yep. Because it, uh, at this point, it melts very, very easily. Quickly. Wait All a right. second. You need the walnuts to get the full effect. All right. Of the maple walnut ice cream. Here's my walnuts. Walnuts. Thank you. Cheers. Clink. Mm. I taste the maple syrup. Oh, I taste the walnuts. Oh, this is good. Mm. Mm. That worked. That's a successful experiment. Good work. To use maple syrup instead of sugar. Now let's try the vanilla. It's like a milkshake. Yep. It's warm and it's melting already. Ah, oh, that's really good too. That's very good. All right. I bet you can think of some really exciting ice cream flavors. Some that you may not even be able to find in the store. Like peanut butter. <gasps> peanut butter or chocolate peanut butter. Maple walnut peanut butter? Maple butter. 
almond butter ice cream with almonds on top. Oh, I'm gonna have mine as a milkshake. Oh, yum. Good work. Yeah, that was great. Now, I must say, it did take more salt and more and, time, and more time than I, re I thought it would. So it was more like 15 minutes and more like half a cup of salt in your ice. So we'll change that recipe <laughs> so you can make it without worries, okay? Happy summer! Enjoy! You still got your mittens on! <laughs> Mm-mm.